All right, guys, so you are in for a treat today. I'm here at the Van Lee booth here at the Dealer Show in Elkhart, Indiana, and we're gonna take a look at one of their super high-end, really beautifully painted beacons. This is really cool. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So when it comes to luxury fifth wheels that have just about everything you're looking for, this is probably going to check almost every box you're looking for. This is a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. When you look at some of the other paint options they have here, they stand out as bold. I could absolutely see something like this behind my Ruby Red F450. And I really think that when you look at the beacons, they give you what you're looking for in terms of cosmetic appeal, but quality at the same time, because that is something that some RV manufacturers lack. They build a really good looking product, but the quality may not be there. Or they build a high quality product, but the looks may not be there. And I think that that was one of the goals of the Van Lee product was to produce something that met both of those criteria. So this is something I want to learn more about. And I have someone here from Van Lee to help me with that. All right, guys. So I am here with Freddie with Van Lee, and I believe you are the national sales manager. Correct. I am. Yes, sir. Right, good deal. And we've had a couple correspondence back and forth about the product, and I have a huge respect for them because they kind of branched off from the big names everyone's familiar with and decided to do it on their own. And that's very difficult in this day and age when buying power generally means you got to throw out thousands of units every month. So to produce a high quality product and to do it on your own under your own name is really awesome. And I know that you guys are a division of Tiffin and I, that's important because there's lineage, there's heritage and there's buying power in that. Correct. So that's also important. So Freddie, if you can, I would love to know more about the beacon. This is the first time I've ever personally laid eyes on a beacon in person. So this is your opportunity to tell me why beacon is the one for most people. Well, of course what you, 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 you you started out with the Tiffin family name, so that was one thing that we wanted to do is because we started off with Volano back in 2015. So the Volano was our flagship product, and you know we had a lot of customers that were Allegro bus customers, Phaeton customers. They said, we want a painted unit, but we want the motorhome DNA on an upper level. We said, sure, we can do that for you. So that's when we come out with Beacon back in 2018. So we actually unveiled this at the Louisville show, at the last Louisville show in 2018. And then we've just had really great success from it as well from, from that point because we have a lot of Allegro Bus and Phaeton customers actually trading in on the product. And the reason being is when you step up and you look at it, we do the exact same uh, motorhome paint scheme. So this is a crimson. You can find this on the Phaeton. You can find it on the bus. The one beside us is going to be the uh, Sunlit Sand. It's got the red swoosh in it. Every paint scheme that we have mimics the Tiffin Motorhomes. Okay. As you walk around, on our, as far as our baggage doors, they're all solid back baggage doors. And what I love to show the customer here on the baggage doors is they're all insulated. And then you mm -hmm. can hear how solid those doors are when you shut them. Absolutely. We actually mold all of our front caps in-house, just like the motorhome plant. Coming around, we're using the Rotaflex pin box through Lippert. It is the uh, pivoting head which controls mm -hmm. chucking. If when you move around there's some things that we do differently than a lot of other manufacturers out there. So if you look at our slide box construction, what we do is we actually laminate all five sides of the, of the slide room. So we actually use a hair cell plastic on the bottom which is solid and you've got block foam insulation with aluminum substructure inside here because the biggest fear we had at, at Van Lee and as, at Tiffin as well is mm -hmm. we didn't want this slide room to draw moisture over time and then what happens? Next thing you know, your customer's falling through their slide room floor. So we were actually scared to death of that. So we actually laminate every single side of this slide room, even the sidewalls, roof, and the floor. Very nice. Coming into our baggage doors again, this is a really nice thing that we do for the customer base. You still have the real solid slam latch door, but when you walk into our wet bay, our wet bay is very unique because we actually use a powder coated aluminum wet bay and laser stents etching for all of your valve control. So this will never wear or break down. So a lot of other competitive products use a plastic or mm -hmm. a rotocast, we're not doing that. Plus we've got 12 volt dump valves here. We're the only manufacturing industry is using 12 volt dump valves. So usually you have a cable pull, yep. right? So you gotta squat down, you gotta pull the cable. If the cable breaks, then you're, you're stuck. Yep. With this, all you do is hit a button. It dumps your tanks for you. A lot of customers ask me, it shows, well, okay, it's electrical, so what happens if that fails? Well, no problem. You take off this false wall here, and I've got uh, manual overrides recessed into the floor. So you can okay. actually dump your tanks two ways. So if something did happen, not saying it will, but if something does happen, there's a second way to dump your tank. Absolutely. All right? 
That's important. Moving down, we've got a 42,000 BTU furnace that is actually ducted into our wet bay, our pass-through compartment, our underbelly, and the main cabin of the coach. Plus, we're actually using 12-volt heating pads standard on every single product that we build because we want that customer to have the full-time capabilities in going through cold weather. We actually use a standard 10-gallon water heater. It's a 10,000 BTU water heater. Actually, we actually have the at the um, Truma on-demand option. Mm -hmm. So if a customer did want to option the on-demand, we've got them covered on that side of it, too. Perfect. Walking around, we're going to use six-point automatic hydraulic leveling through Lippert. On our axles, we use 8K axle standard with 17 and a half inch H-rated tires, which are a 16 ply tire. Those are a standard on all of our beacons. See, so you also have the 12 inch main I-beam and the 10 inch we drop do. frame. We have, a, we have a 12 inch main I-beam on the 42 RDB and the 385 RD Volano. The rest of them are a 10 on 10 because this one's so big. I mean, when you get mm -hmm. up to that 42 foot six inches, and then the cargo space. So a lot of manufacturers have a similar similar floor plan to this, but what we wanted to do is we wanted to make it like a motorhome. So most of them leave that area open. When you see you know, yep. raw aluminum on the side, it's the first thing you look at. What we wanted to do is we wanted to carpet over that so it actually looks like a motorhome because that's who we are. You know, the yeah. quality and construction and customer service of Tiffin, you've got to do these things for your customer because they, they wouldn't expect anything less. And Absolutely. if they do, they're upset with you, right? Well, and it looks like a finished product at the it same does. time. It's completely finished. We actually, for 2020, we moved our power cord reel to the back of the coach because now a lot of the campgrounds are what? They're moving the yep. poles to the rear instead of in the middle. So now you got easy access. It's a 30-foot power cord. you got the electric reel with the manual pull. So you pull it right out and then hit your button and it rolls it in for you, all right? Nice. On the rear... Still got a slam latch hardware with a big solid door, so you can actually hear this when it shuts. It's solid, yeah. it's not vibrating. Coming back over, we got an eight foot slide tray through Moride. We actually use the same slide tray on all of our motorhomes. So you've got a ton of cargo space. What's really, really unique about this is we've had customers try to put their kayaks in a lot of other fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. Well, this, you can take the netting down you got the eight foot slide tray when it's completely in, but you have 12 foot six inches to the front of that wall. So if you've got a 10 foot kayak, you can actually store it in this pass through without any issues. Wow, very nice. We use a 28 mil thick TPO membrane on our, on our roof. We actually roll glue the entire membrane. So with that being said, we actually use our decking. So we use aluminum truss throughout the entire coach batten insulation, a truly whisper quiet ducted AC system, and then we'll put our decking down and we screw to every single truss and we countersink every screw. And then we sand across that. And then we take roll glue and we roll the entire decking on the roof and then we lay our 28 mil thick TPO membrane over it. So what you're saying is you do it the right way. We do it the right way. That's all you need to say, my friend. <laughs> Moving on the inside of the coach. Real quick, what's the model number of this unit? This is a 42 RDB beacon. Okay, perfect. So what I want you to, I know your, your video in here, but I want you to scan in this because this is really important for the customer base. So that what we do is we do a spider multiplex, just like the motorhome. So most fifth wheel manufacturers have toggle switches throughout the entire coach, right? Mm -hmm. So what we have, we have the seven inch display. And when you walk in, it's one of the first things that attracts you to it. So I can sit here and turn my light master off, on. All of my ACs are controlled here as well. So you can see all the ACs. So if I wanted to turn one on, I can turn them all on here. Get the temperature down because it is getting pretty warm in here. Mm. Come down slide controls here. You got your galley, your living room, your bed slide, all your fans, and then your awnings. TV lift is here, which is for the back TV on the rear. And then here's your settings button. But the thing about this is when you walk through the coach, and I'm going to touch on our woodwork, but you come right here to the spider multiplex panel. Everything is backlit and push button. So you can see everything that you're turning off and turning on. Yeah, very high-end motorhome. Top. Absolutely. Instead of toggle yeah. switches to where most customers go to a, they'll go to a store, they'll get a, get a label maker, and then they'll actually put labels yep. across the toggle switches. And it looks kind of tacky. So I we agree. want to make sure we're giving them the really, really good high-quality motorhome feel. I completely agree. Spanning around. If you notice the woodwork, we actually handcraft every bit of this woodwork in-house. We have a 70,000 square foot cabinet shop at our facility. So that's man with about 70 employees. So we, we mill our own wood, we cut it, we sand it, we stain it, we clear it, we assemble it, we install it. All right, and we do a wipe down technique. Now on this is paint. 
<coughs> excuse me, this is our newest color that we came out with for 2020. This is called white linen. We actually have our own spray booth inside the cabinet shop and we actually hand spray every one of these cabinets. On this, it's a high gloss. So if you look at other manufacturers, you can feel the back of their cabinet doors. Mm -hmm. We actually do a true finish on both sides. So you have four coats of clear on the front and you'll have three coats of clear on the back. Wow. So we're completely finishing this out. You have all of your pantry here, nice space inside, and then you've got the up storage as well. Notice, One thing you guys do well is you put a lot of storage in. We do, and another thing that we do is, you know, Lee Tiffin always says, you know, if you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. So we think about the little details because just like this cable, right? We put the cable in so it doesn't hit your refrigerator door. It's actually a stopping point for your cabinets because mm -hmm. we don't want you to damage your product. I like how you guys have finished off the refrigerator door as well. This is actually an option for 2020. I'm glad you pointed that out. So this is the Whirlpool. It's a 20 cubic foot refrigerator. It is residential and it's powered, of course, by 110. But we have a 1,000 watt pure sine wave magnum inverter that comes standard with the coach. But these are the options. So you actually can option the hardwood panels over the refrigerator door or you can get the regular stainless steel. Very nice. You have ice and water in the door on the Whirlpool. <laughs> And you can actually, when you come around here, you're going to see that we're using the Hanex Allegro Bus countertops, Allegro Bus backsplashes. These are all real porcelain tile glass tiles that we actually hand lay in grout. So that's actually real grout oh, wow. that's in there. We actually make a U shape on our backsplash so you can actually access the roller shelf. Very nice. And you have the nice window here. I like the upgraded cooktop and, and oven as well. You got the Furion three burner cooktop, 7,000 BTU a piece on each of the eyes, and you're going to come with a 25 inch oven that's got about 8,000 BTU for all your cooking needs. And then when you come around, you'll see the 50 50 farm sink inside of the beacon along with the Hanex countertops. These are all Allegro Bus amenities inside this coach. Very nice. If you notice how we're standing in here, we actually do a seven foot slide box here because of the height and the other products will do an eight foot but if you notice you have 103 inches of ceiling height as we're standing here mm -hmm. what we do is we do a straight line motorhome roof all the way through because you want the customer wants a lot of space inside the fifth wheel so that's why we're giving them that height but coming up to the upstairs portion <laughs> take a scan at your tile this tile we actually hand lay this tile now it's a vinyl tile it's the same one mm -hmm. we use in our allegro open road gas motorhomes because the, the frame won't accommodate porcelain tiles, it's too mm -hmm. heavy. What we do is we actually trial blue the entire floor and we hand lay every single one of these tiles. So it's all hand laid by men. Yeah. Coming up, you're gonna notice we use soft touch vinyl sealant throughout the entire coach, which is actually dampens vibration, dampens noise, and acts as an extra insulator. Notice the AC zone. Mm -hmm. We use a true whisper quiet AC system, just like the motorhome. So this is actually an eight inch positive pressure force blow duct. I can actually stick my hand in there. And this is a 16 inch return duct. Okay. So you have two AC standard, they're the Coleman Mach 8s, 15,000 BTU a piece, and they're the low profile ACs. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to make sure you could accommodate the ACs because what a lot of people do, they'll put a little bitty return in there. Well, yep. the AC's got to have air to, to, to work, right? It's mm -hmm. got to breathe. So we want to give you a 16 inch return so you're intaking 16 inches of air and then it's reducing down and it's going down to eight inches which gives you more pressure and it's very, very comfortable. So you can feel when we turn those on, it's actually getting yeah, really cool. hasn't been on very long and it's, it's already comfortable. Easy to clean. These are all your filters for every one of your return ducts. So on this side, every one of these will have that little foam filter in okay. it throughout the entire coach. Very nice. A big key feature that I love talking about now is we actually use Franklin Furniture, and this is made in Houston, Mississippi. They are the third largest furniture manufacturer for residential homes in America. That's what we have in our home. That's what you have in your home is Franklin? Yep. Amazing. So <laughs> we were using other off-brand furnitures, and we just we just weren't happy with it. Customers weren't happy with it, so we made a change, and we couldn't have, we couldn't have made the change in a better time. We've actually had customers come in and actually upgrade and buy this furniture to put in their coaches because of the stuff that they had before. It just wasn't as the quality of what this is today. You know what? Your window valances are nicer than I've seen in most homes. I mean, that is just amazing. You, the woodwork here, this is beautiful. And, you know, regardless of what people say, you know, in regards to what era or what styling, it looks amazing in here. It stands out. It looks sophisticated. It looks high end. And I don't think I've seen a fifth wheel that can even come close to putting a window valance like that in place. Well, 
going back to that, it's, it's, it's pretty funny you brought it up, because that's where I was going to next. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's a good question, though, and it's a good statement, because we actually hand build them. And that's the benefit of when you're building your own product, instead of assembling it, you're not you're not worried about other vendors bringing you the right wood, the right yep. this, right that. You know, So you can try to imitate as much as you want, but you're never going to be able to do what we're doing, because a lot of them don't take the time to, to put in the, yep. the work to get this balance. It's so, quantity, right? It's, it's quantity, quantity over quality. Yeah, quality. So we build four a day four a day and that's between Beacon, Volano and Pinecrest. That's three brands. So we don't batch build. Mm -hmm. We built everything that's in my backlog is already sold. Right? So when a customer places their order, as soon as that order is placed, it goes in the front of the line and then however far out we're scheduled their, their coach is coming off next. Now when a customer goes to a retail lot, say if they've got a coach and it said it come offline on 924. Mm -hmm. well, when it comes offline, <coughs> it goes through four PDI processes at our plant. All right, and then once it ships from our plant to that lot, whatever time frame it takes, that's how long that coach has been offline. It doesn't sit in a field for a month or two or a week or two. It gotcha. is gone from that point in time. We actually use 22 gauge steel backer in all of our walls, and we'll actually put brackets throughout the entire coach. So we actually add three to each valance, and then mm -hmm. on our big valances down here in the back, we'll add five. So that way it gives a strong hold. So every one of your cabinets, every one of your valances, everything that's hung on this wall is hung by 22 gauge steel mm -hmm. backer, even the ladder on the back wall. Wow, that's really good. Coming upstairs into the bathroom, we're actually gonna give you a 48 inch shower. It's an all one piece fiberglass shower throughout the entire bathroom. And you have your nice uh, Hanex countertop that's in the bathroom, same as the Allegro bus. So we're trying to give you all the bus amenities inside this fifth wheel. For 2020 in our bedroom, we actually lowered the bed an additional four inches. And the reason why we did that is because the bed used to be really high and the customers were complaining because they were saying it's just really too high to get in the bed. So if you notice when I sit down, as soon as I sit down, my feet are yeah. touching the floor. I can bend over, I can tie my shoes, I can get ready without mm -hmm. my feet dangling, right? So we wanted to do that. Plus, another big reason we did it is the slide boxes inside of coaches are so low the customer's not able to sit up. So if you want to sit up and read a book, you've got tons of yeah. height inside the slide room door. You can do whatever you want to do and you're not bothering your partner. Well, and one thing I like about it as well is even if you didn't have the bed low, you still have a tremendous amount of slide height. So by lowering the bed, it just gives you even more, and it gives you more of that natural angle whenever you're sitting down, even if you want to look out the windows. Because typically, if the bed sits higher, even where you're sitting, you have to kind of look down or cock your neck over to see out. You guys have put a lot of thought into the design, and you can easily tell. Not just thought, but pride. And that's that's what you really need in this industry is pride. Yes, sir. I love the crown molding, too. The fact that you guys use a real crown molding. We do use real crown molding, and then in 2020, we actually added a window seat here for the customer. So what we used to do is you'd have a four-drawer. It was called a four-drawer high-boy dresser, right? Mm -hmm. and that's what we call in the motorhome plant. So we had a customer say, you know, it's great, but what about this dead space here? It's just a lot of open space. Well, mm -hmm. we listen to what our customers are telling us, right, because they're giving you great ideas. So we actually added the two-drawer window seat. So you can actually have an extra two drawers. you got six drawers total, plus all the closet space you got a nice shoe cubby for your customers the closet right the rack we actually used to use a closet rod then i had a lot of customers saying hey the clothes when it goes down the road they tend to try to fall off so we actually put the triangle in here on the rod so they can actually hook all of the rod yeah. their clothes hangers into the rod and then you have an extra space if you want it here you can either use this for your stackable splendid washer dryer or you can actually use it for more space very nice Overall, you guys have really thought about everything, and I like the fact that you put a lot of thought into little things, like the soft touch. I know a lot of the things that you have done here are based off of the success of the motorhome division. Correct. Right, so it's really easy to say, well, what does well there, and let's put it in a fifth wheel, because I was actually speaking to somebody the other day who moved from a big Monaco diesel pusher, and he moved into a competing brand. It's a Lux. Yep. But at the same time, the challenge he ran into was wondering what brand to go with. Because when you're used to a motor coach, you see all this nice woodwork. You see a lot of these upgrades, and fifth wheels typically don't have those. So the fact that you guys are producing an option for those folks who might not want to have that motor coach anymore, maybe they have an Allegra bus, and they're like, you know what? We want 
a separate truck, we want a separate fifth wheel this time. This gives them an option that they can easily transition into, and that's impressive. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, follow up on what you just said, you know, that's why we built this product. And, you know, the customer base that are out there, they're wanting a high quality, high end fifth wheel, and they haven't found it. But we're, we've been doing it since 15. So, you know, we're actually growing rapidly. We've increased sales every year. We've increased production every year. And it all contributes to folks like yourself that actually mm -hmm. come in, you look, you see, and you're like, hey, wow, this is different. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Let me video it. Let me see if I can grab somebody to talk about the product. So we're getting the buzz now, and the customer base coming from the motorhome side, they're projecting this noise out in the industry saying, hey, you need to go look at Van Lee. It's a Tiffin product. You need to go look at it. They build quality. They're not building quantity. Go take a look. Come buy our product, and I guarantee you won't be disappointed with what we're doing. Well, you know, today. and something to follow up with that, I actually have several subscribers who have bought your product, and they've sent me pictures of them. Um, and I've asked them questions. I said, you know, how was the dealer experience? How was the repair experience? You know, fifth wheels are still assembled by hand. Just like you said, these cabinets, everything's made by hand. Absolutely. Right? So if you do have a problem, you want to know that your service experience as well. And I have heard nothing but outstanding reviews when it comes to your repair facility, how they treat customers, how they take care of problems, the response time, and that's important. It's great to have all this luxury and technology, but when something breaks, because things break, you guys don't produce that light in there. This no, is made not. by somebody else. The hitches, the, the wheels, everything are made by components. The cabinetry, all that stuff that you put together, you can back up, but you just don't know sometimes some of the other components that could potentially have an issue. Dealer service matters, and I've heard really good reviews about your dealer service, so I just want to let you know that. I really appreciate that because that is one thing that's been a driving factor for the past 46 years at Tiffin Motorhomes is the customer service. Mm -hmm. And we're following in the footsteps of Mr. Bob Tiffin, and Lee's done a great job in uh, handling the issues that's been out in the field today, taking care of the customers. And we love our customers, man, and we're not, you know, they're not a number to us. We want to make sure that they're being taken care of, and we're personable with them. I mean, they come to our rallies, they, they hug our necks. They, it's a really great feeling of working for a manufacturer like this because you know everybody's involved in what's going on in the day-to-day -day processes. Well, Freddie, I really appreciate your time. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you. Beautiful unit. Beautiful unit. Guys, if you want to find out what dealers carry these units, because they don't produce a lot of them, so you got to really look for dealers that carry this product. Go to their website, because I believe you guys talk about your dealer service. and We do. Yeah, you guys have a list of where they can go to buy them, yep. and they can even reach out to you, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. www.vanleyrv.com. And if you're on the Tiffin Motorhome website, just look in the right-hand corner at the top. And it will actually click on Van Lee and take you right to our website and vice versa. Perfect. Well, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out, and I will talk to you again very soon.